So this crawling thing, right? <clears throat> this crawling thing is, uh, it's a little bit unreliable, I think. How far do you think we actually crawled in an hour? Well, it is still going because I came back to my PC about 10 minutes ago to find I was crawling constantly into a tree, so I didn't actually move anywhere. I'm not really sure at what point that happened. Um, but something weird is going on. Something weird is going on. So, remember the marker I put down? Yeah. How far away was that marker when I dropped it? Can anybody remember? It's about 2k, wasn't it? <clears throat> so that means we've crawled about 1.4 kilometers, something like that. Yeah? I would estimate. And if you actually look at the map, like we were more or less started. I came out of the house, dropped down. It's about here, wasn't it? So that would seem about right. You know, two, two kilometers, just over two, crawled all that way, at least 1.4. And so, if we look at the perks list, there was a perk for crawling uh, three kilometers, I think. Did I just hear a geese laughing? It was laughing at you, Valencia. <laughs> I think it was a duck, actually. So, I think there was a perk for crawling three kilometers, right? And if we look on the character list... And look under outdoorsman, or was it hiker? I can't remember. It's one of these two. There we go. So, crouched. There you go. Travel three kilometers in a prone stance. And I think that was about there when we started. So, if that's three kilometers in total, then one kilometer is about here. Yeah? Which means we just did... Well over one. We've probably done nearly half of that. We should be here. So why are we here? And that, I mean, I know I've cheesed it, right? But I pressed F, went prone, pressed F, walked away for an hour and came back. And my prone stance crawl is not even, not even 5% done. So that's just complete and utter nonsense. And good luck getting that one. Good luck getting that, because that is way off. It's not a cheat. I cheesed it. I didn't cheat it. Literally use the in-game auto walk. It's like saying, if I stand here now and press the F key, right? Will that get me an achievement for walking? Yes, it will. Is that cheating? No. Is that cheesing? Possibly. But most people, when they've discovered auto-walk, will auto-walk the way around the map. So why is auto-crawling or auto-crouching any different? It says travel three kilometers in a prone stance. It doesn't say you can't auto-walk or auto-crawl. It doesn't say that. It just says travel in a prone stance. You wonder if it's a typo in the code and it says 30 kilometers instead of 3. Well, that would mean that this one is then 50, and that one's 70. Hmm. David NH, thank you for one and a half years, David. Thank you for the bits, by the way, uh, Valesti. Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, three star moose male. How are we doing? It's a moving target, that's not going to be easy. Bro, you need to slow down. Oh, of course you stop there, you little scumbag. Uh, 
there are 200 meters. What do you reckon? Bon Jovi? Kill confirmed. Three star, that'll do. That'll bring up the uh, the coffers a little bit. Even the even the ducks are laughing at that one. Josh Bosch, thank you for 64 months. Thank you, sir. I shall certainly try. Let's see what we got. Uh, oh, yeah. Bon Jovi confirmed. Straight through. Even though that looks too high to be Bon Jovi. It says heart here. But I think what happened was the shock wave. Is that shock wave there? Basically, the lungs, the left lung has been, was bleeding. The right lung was the kill. We also hit an artery and, and damaged the heart from the shockwave. So I didn't actually hit the heart, but the amount of damage was just... <laughs> just dropped it like a brick. A little bit too high. A tiny bit. 25 months, Fat Man, thank you. Uh, not been around, currently in Skeggy with the family. Enjoy, dude, enjoy. Uh, that was a one star, so it looks like the two star swapped places with the one star again. Only lost 48 kilos, not too bad. Well, I'm using the correct rifle for the, for the type of... Stop laughing at me. I'm using the correct rifle for the type of animal, tier 6. It literally lists it under tier 6 in the encyclopedia. Yeah? Tier 6, moose. And I'm using a tier 6 rifle. Uh, Peter the Hobbit, thank you very much for uh, gifting five subs. Welcome, guys. Appreciate the support. If you just got a sub, Peter the Hobbit's the man to thank. They just crossed into here, didn't they? Oh, there's a hunting stand there. That's not on the map yet. I don't think there is another tier 6 one. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try, I'm going to switch to Transylvania and try that shortly. Just want to get that hunting stand. Oh my god, those ducks are just overpowered. Shut up. I will come to the area to shoot the duck and make soup from it. I would appreciate that, Valesa. If you could be so kind as to do that, that'd be great. Although some duck with uh, hoisin sauce would be and pancakes, that that would be preferable. To be fair. Yeah, well, I'm going to go to Transylvania. I'm going to restart as well because the, uh, the marker bug is irritating. Like, I can't even see half of these markers. There's one of them. Like, where are these other markers? They're not even here. And yet, when I turn around, I'm just... It's weird.
You already own Hunter Call of the Wild. Similar kind of game. Orville wasn't annoying. The guy with the, with his hand up its backside, he was the annoying one. He was the one controlling Orville. You liked Orville. You must remember that song then. Games are too slow paced. Yeah, you, you've got to have, you've got to have patience. I wouldn't bother with a fishing game if you don't have patience. <laughs> Where did they go? They must have tracked out north. Unless they came, they might have come into the uh, trees here. What was the result of the crawling experiment? We got ripped off, was the result. There they are. There they are. A hunting stand might be an ideal place to get them. Yeah, we crawled, we worked out that we crawled about 1.4 kilometers. Yeah. Definitely did it. Confirmed it from two different ways. One from the map and just how far we went. And secondly, from the marker I put down. 1.4 kilometers. And yet, yeah, if you look at the actual, um, what we achieved in the character log, we didn't even get one kilometer out of it. So something's definitely broken. So yeah, good luck getting that perk because there's something wrong with it. Uh, Eske Jeanberg, 93 months. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see if we can get eyes on with this. That is a three star, so I must have shot the one. 250 meters, so we're going to... Oh, I can only go 200 or 300. That's going to make the shot very interesting. I'll go 200 and aim slightly high. Well, there's blood. It's limping. It's a hit. I don't know how much of a hit, but it's a hit. Kind of hard to judge because I had no 50 meter zero. Oh, yeah, I remember Cuddles the monkey. You remember Spit the dog? What was that guy's name? Is it Mike, Mike somebody? Or Spit the dog? Bob Carroll, geez, that was it. That was it. And then there was Bernie Clifton and his ostrich. Which, interesting facts for you, Bernie Clifton, if you remember Bernie Clifton with the ostrich thing, he was born in the same town as me. <laughs> as was um, Johnny Vegas. You reckon, Pep? Well, if I get to re if I get to harvest the animal, I'll see how much it was off. There we go. Air bubbles, so we definitely hit along. Oh yes, Philip Schofield had a duck. Didn't he? Ed the Duck, that was it. I liked Ed the Duck. Hmm. 
there it is. That has got some huge antlers on it. Okay, so let's get around here. It wasn't terrible. Yeah, just slightly too high. Narrowly missed a major artery. I think it was... I felt like I was aiming about here. So it didn't really drop very much at all, did it? So if I zeroed for 300... Zeroed for 200 and aimed slightly high. Probably about here would have done it. God, the gopher, he was great. That's a three-star. 1,260. Nice. Only lost 63 kilos of meat. That's pretty good, actually. So you had, it actually had perfect damage when it hit the lung. Very good damage. Take that. Cool. Right, so... Let's transport back to... Here. No, you can go on down to the hunting range and do stuff up to 250, though. Right, I'm going to go to exit menu. And then I'm going to try. I've not tried this territory yet, but we're going to try. So if you press F when you're here, you can change the difficulty. And the difficulty settings are Explorer. Animal senses are low for inexperienced players. The challenge of the game will become much lower. Adventurer. Animal sense is medium. The game provides a good balance between gameplay and real hunting. And then this is what I've been playing on. Animal sense is high. Animals are skittish. You must be applying hunting knowledge and tactics. So that's what I've been playing on. But there is another one above this. Animal sense is high, which is the same. Scope shooting information, binocular identification, interactions with highlighting, animal signs, identification, all off. This difficulty provides the most realistic hunting experience. All the extra info provided will be hidden. So you've got to look at an animal, decide if it's male, female, decide if you think it's going to be a high trophy rating. You're not going to get information about um, scope, shooting, range, and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's what I'm playing on. I don't know if we're ever going to get rain. I do hope so. <laughs> right, I've never been to this Transylvania map, so this will be fun. No idea what to expect. Can, do we carry our gear over? Do we have the same storyline? Ooh. Oops, loading in. Man, that's a big hunting lodge. Whoa, that is some vista. Okay, well, the first question has been answered. We've got all of our gear. Man, what a view. 8 a.m. Imagine waking up and just having your morning coffee here. That's just a bonkers view. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four private lodges. Let's go and look at the map, see if we get any in information out of here. You get little trophy things on the wall. There's our storage. There's our computer. So all the missions are there. Another taxidermy stand. Oh. I've shot loads of ducks, I just haven't stuffed any of them. Great stands, look at this. Wow. As if they've made lights out of the antlers. There's a lot of room around here for, for trophies. 
Where's the bed? Is that when we came in? There it is. Right, where's the map? There it is. You've discovered Transylvanian floodplain habitat. The steady power of the Danube River has enabled development of various life forms in the floodplain region. This area contains a high density of waterfowl birds like wild ducks or gray leg geese. Well, that's great, but I don't want to go duck hunting, thanks. So, hmm. Okay, well, first things first is to go here. I think. Get that unlocked. Because this is obviously like bird hunting area. I'm not really into that. I want to go up here and see what we've got. So we'll take the road out of here. Northeast and then northwest. This, um, this cabin is massive. Yeah, we've got all the same equipment. Our character keeps all of his perks, so there's no difference. It's just a new map. There's the car. Uh, Solid Bond, thank you for 81 months. Marza, thank you for four. We let the moose loose with the hoops. Maybe we'll just ignore the road. It's not like weird cloud though, you see it? Well, there's something over there. What do you reckon that is? We need to go and see what that is. Wait, there's one there as well. There's one here. Hmm. So it's like a log, log storage, maybe. I mean, they would they wouldn't put a cabin here so close. They can't do. You set the time of day, not, not when you're out hunting. You have to go, you have to rest. If you go rest in a bed or a campsite, you can do it. Uh oh, there's a big valley. Could be an issue. Pass on a one to one scale. I no. It just clocked eight twenty one, so start a timer. I don't know what the ratio is, but it's not real time. Yeah, yeah, I understand. You can post clips from my own content. Oh, I love the I love the valley mist. Look at that. Early morning valley mist. Nice. Bird. 
because I'm in a small. Uh, okay, this is a bit weird. An entirely random shelter. Go up to there and turn right. So, that was two minutes ago, that was six minutes. So, is it three times? I'm all right, Evan, thank you. It's running on the real four engine. These roads that are um, tarmac compared to the the previous map that were all dirt tracks. This is the. Uh, it should be a lot quicker, but sadly, what the heck was that? Oh my god! I thought they were going to attack the car then. <laughs> Long before I unlock the um, speedy car driving. Oh my god, 150 kilometers I've got to do, I've done 51. Um, I don't know if you do, Maru, I don't think you get better rewards, I just think it's more of a challenge. But obviously, when you bring up your oh great, not allowed to hunt in this, but when you bring up your um, trophy display at the end, it will say how many stars the uh, animal was, and it will also say what difficulty you did it on. Four thousand. How much was the pass? Was it four and a half thousand or three and a half thousand? You have to buy the permission. You just buy it from the shop. You buy a license to hunt a certain area. There's like four areas on each map that are like that. Is it four and a half K? Dang it. That means I need to go back to the other map to rack up some money. Because the only area I can hunt on is the duck area. I'm not going to make good money out of that. Nah, I prefer a motocross bike. I don't like quad bikes. You should be able to take a motocross bike, which will get you around fairly quickly, but won't have any storage in the back. So that's the downside to it. Or you get a quad bike, which has a small amount of storage, or a Jeep, which has lots of storage. Like a Jeep should allow you to bring other equipment that you haven't fitted onto you, but you could you could kind of change your equipment on a Jeep, but not on a quad bike, something like that. I believe that's it up there. Yeah, I don't know, maybe if it just allow you to take a camping stuff with you in a Jeep as well, but not in a quad bike.
Roe deer. Wow, look, loads of roe deer right nearby. Oh, there's some big antlers on them. Three star. Two star, and that's a three star right there. Whoa, there's loads of them. Look at that. Not that I can hunt any of them. Exciting. How do we get to low bit then? That was an old map? There we go. You've discovered Transylvanian lowlands habitat. The lower altitudes of these deciduous forests provide easier access for silent predators while offering a large variety of game from Eurasian badgers to fallow deer. We've added way too much bass onto this man's voice. Hello, dear traveler. I would like to ask you a personal favor. My dear neighbor, Adam Porumbar, is having a birthday soon, but I don't have the time to prepare for it. So I have to ask you, what? You, you have to ask a random stranger who may just turn up at your cabin on a whim to prepare for a birthday because you don't have time okay can you spare some time i have the best gift in mind i want you to find a huge wild boar wait what since he shares a deep bond with that animal and when you send it to him please grab a letter from my desk and attach it to the package boar you can take the meat for yourself just save at least the head to give to him thank you very much i know i love it we can't even hunt here you want me to do a, a boar Okay, doesn't everybody want to get a birthday card like that? Happy birthday! <laughs> okay, this guy's only slightly nuts. Harvest a wild boar weighing at least 90 kilograms. Interact with a greeting card on an office table. We've done that. Trouble is, I can't hunt here, so it's kind of a bit pointless. But I should be able to fast travel there now, which I can. Ooh. You see, this has unlocked all the question marks around. Whereas the other one didn't. That's interesting. Wait, does that mean... I wonder if just this bit here... must imply that Lempus Hills we can hunt in this bit and we can hunt in that bit and even that bit but we can't hunt in this bit UE4 so I'm wondering where would we find a wild boar from the lowland forest has the deer that question mark is that by a road i don't think it is probably a vantage point that there could possibly be a campsite just because it's right next to that road maybe that is also next to a very small road i think there's a road there, I think. Hmm. Trouble is, how do we get west of here? So the, the B roads in this, these small green ones. I might try heading west. Grab that, grab that and see if that's a thing. We can't hunt in this bit and then come south. The wind's coming from the east, so if we're down the west side, 
do a little bit of exploring and then start shooting stuff when we get to that area. Let's go with that initially. Game, please. Come on. Turn this game audio down. You can shoot stuff without permission, but you can't harvest it. So because you can't harvest it, you don't get any money, any anything that you can stuff, or even get to look at your uh, trajectory of the shot to see what it did to the animal. You just get nothing. You can drop the animal, but you get absolutely no benefit from it. have needs on oh yeah so yes you can over hunt things but there's more to it than that you can you can actually hunt lower trophied males and push the average uh, trophy rating up in the area so you can affect the you can affect an area by hunting high trophy stuff and therefore pushing the average down or hunting low trophy stuff and pushing the average up so you can basically go around culling the low the low genetically one, uh, the low genetic deer, for example, and then it will raise the rating up of the average in the area, if that makes sense. And yeah, if you go hunting in a certain area again and again, they won't come back for a while. They will. There is a, a hunting pressure. In fact, one of the missions that we have to do wants us to go and hunt I think three or four low genetic females or males I can't remember to actually affect the area oh that's a big tower what the heck is that man that's like a fire watchtower Okay, that was totally random. Thanks for that game. Um, how do you get permission to hunt? You have to buy the pass from the shop in the game using in-game currency. Okay, I think we'll just give up on that. Uh, run the rest of it. Uh, KHD, thank you for 98 months, sir. When you hit 100, give me a nudge and I'll give you the VIP bench. How on earth did we get up there? This is going to be just an observation post, isn't it? Whispering Lookout. Uh, there isn't really any outfit options. You don't really get to see character very much. So unlike Call of the Wild, like what you were doesn't affect your hunting. Blimey. Let's 
So that down there is five kilometers away. Which is basically that there, isn't it? No, hang on. That there. That's five kilometers from here to here. Because if I put that there. Yeah, there you go. So that's five to there, which means it's like ten. It's about ten high, this one. Which is interesting, because that means that map is about 100 square kilometers. It's only supposed to be 64, I think. You like to hunt moose in your pajamas. Oh, that's uh, probably not going to work out too well for me. You end up spawning back at base in a minute. Mm. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Annoyingly, it spawns you back at the main, not like the, the one where you uh, just went to, but like the main cabin. That's irritating. Yeah, there is no damage display, really. It's, it's, it's a bit weird like that. Let's change color. You either die or you don't die. Just like that. Okay, I want to go here. game description says 64. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. The game description says 64, but that map is clearly at least 10 by 10. So, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Oh my god, can I have like a manual gearbox? Because this is ridiculous. Game description says 144. Well, I read 64. Hang on a sec. Uh, check something. Some of the reviewers things and more. There it is. Short guide available. It's bugging me now, I want to find out. Right, reviewing guide. What it said in here? Oh, it says it says in the reviewer's guide coals will be effective to a maximum distance of 200 meters. Use the coal, wait some time. The best time is indicated in the little bar. The white coal line shows appeared when it's safe to make a second hole. Right, so the callers are effective to up to 200 meters, according to the reviewer's guide. Well, I thought it said in the reviewer's guide how big it was. Maybe 
genau. DLC maps are 64, right. Can I come? Aww. Oh. <laughs> Kamikaze deer. Oh, are you serious? I was hoping that would be a clippable train. H1Z1. Whatever happened to that game? That used to be played a lot on, on Twitch. I don't think I've ever seen anybody play it for years. It stopped all development. Really? Wow. Wow. They just abandoned their own game. Nice. GG. So much was a different game. Wow. Hold on. <laughs> Basically, went back royal for a few months as a cash grab. I remember it split, didn't it? The game split into H1Z1, like Battle Royale, and, and the classic H1Z1. I remember that. For people who wanted Battle Royale versus people who wanted to play the original concept. But I can't believe they just abandoned it. Better things came along. Yeah, like... Um, What's his face? What's the main the main battle royale game, battle royale game that came that kind of faded off? PUBG, that was it. PUBG was like all over Twitch at one point. It was the big thing. Everybody was playing PUBG, and then PUBG got smashed by Fortnite. <laughs> and suddenly nobody was playing PUBG anymore. How close do we have to get to this to unlock it? It's still a question mark. What about now? Is that question mark now? No, we know what it is now. No, the pre-order does not give you early release. It was on Smash then. And then along came that other one, that... Um, Apex, is it? Or something like that? That was all the rage for a while. Escape from Tarkov was all the rage for a while. It's amazing, these, these look like fads that happen in the FPS world. But, like Everybody's playing it for a few months and then something else comes along. But Tarkov has a lot of issues, doesn't it, Sherlock? Tarkov always has had a lot of issues. Like, it's just, it's not a solid bullet game, really. There's lots of issues that I've watched and read about um, inconsistencies in the, in the shooting, which for a, a game is, like, a, any game where the penalty of death is so high has to be really on point with the shooting.
Well, hackers play go on multiplayer games, don't they? Hmm, I was kind of hoping this would be a campsite, but I'm not sure it is. like yes it's a campsite nice blah 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 there was once a cunning fox who pretended to be dead only picked up by a farmer and thrown into his cart inside the cart the fox stole all the farmer's fish a bear found the fox enjoying his meal and asked for some too but the fox sent him to catch his own fish using a method invented by the fox he told the bird to dip his tail into the pond and to stay like that all night the fox told the bird that if he stayed still, he would catch a lot of fish on his tail. The bear sat next to the lake quietly, even though he was shivering from the cold. He was convinced that the pain in his tail meant that he was catching lots of fish, instead of realizing that the pond had frozen during the night. When morning came, the bear tried to pull away from the water, but he couldn't, as his tail was stuck in the ice. He pulled harder and harder until eventually he pulled his own tail off and left it in the ice. He has been tailless ever since. When I heard this as a kid, I felt very sad for the bear as I grew up. I started a hunting tradition to avenge him. During the night, when the foxes are most active and the bear was still hopping, hoping to catch a fish, we go into the forest and hunt foxes instead. Feel free to join us in this tradition. <laughs> okay. Nice. That means we've got a place that we can now fast travel to and sleep if we want to. The only thing you can't do here, can, I'm not sure if you can summon your vehicle back. At a campsite. Don't think you can. Uh, there's something there. I'm just going to go and quickly have a look at that. And then we'll head south and go hunting. Play something religiously and burn out and move on. Yeah, a lot of people do that. I have a friend who's just like that. He just, you know, he'll absolutely hammer a game. And then one day, pff, don't play that anymore. I'm playing something else. So the map board is interesting. You don't get like a big semi-transparent wall of thou shalt not pass. What happens is it says uh, boundary of map and it starts to slow you down. So as you approach the edge of the map, you, it's like you're walking in treacle. It just kind of slows you down progressively which is um, perhaps a nicer way of doing it because it doesn't like break the break the reality like the immersion of it all you don't get this weird fake barrier you just get slowed down until you can't go any further say this Transylvania map's quite nice. What even is this? It's a cave. New discovery, empty cave. I thought it was a long dart then. I was like hoping to find some loot and a dead body in the corner. Oh, he's got a knife on him. Nice. <laughs> Imagine shooting this in a cave. Wouldn't sound anything like that. The acoustics of that... The acoustics on that should be completely different and your ears should be hurting right now. What? My ears are bleeding. 
All right, let's uh, track south. I might go on foot. We'll get to the border and go on foot. Then. So we need to find a wild boar, ideally. But frankly, I don't think we have the right guns for a wild boar. I'm guessing a wild boar is going to be like a tier 5 hunting rifle. So now we can hunt. If you want to switch that active task, you go to objectives here. However, the only thing we have is shoot and harvest five foxes between 10 a.m. and 4 a.m. And this one, which is the thoughtful gift. But yeah, you can you can switch them. Uh, the weapons um, carry over from map to map. All you gave us as well. Yeah, we haven't got any 12 gauge yet. It's a different gun. They've got the 20 gauge on me at the moment, I think. Oh no, I've got the 16 gauge twin. Oh no, I've not. What you? Yeah, I think I've got the 20 gauge on me. This terrain is so hilly. That's one strong tree. Ooh, it's just another campsite. It is as well. It's for a map. Nice, that's another teleportation point. Looks like somebody's been here as well. Hot stew, anyone? Cool, so we've actually got a teleportation point here and one here. Right, we'll go this way. We're going foot now. Look at the foliage here. This is completely different to the last map. It's just bonkers detail. Yeah, I found some kind of need zone.
Grey Wolf drinking royally. Watch out for the sapping turtle. Wall. We've seen the wolves. I've not seen any boars yet, and I've not seen any bears yet on either map. I've seen most of the stuff. Oh, elk. We've not seen any elk yet, I don't think. Only moose. Uh, Boeing, 108 months. I hope you and the family are having a great weekend. Well, Mr. Squirrel's chilling, I think. Uh, daughter's sunbathing because it's still hot. <laughs> New hunting game, indeed. What time of day is it? 10.19 in the game. Hey, Balkan. Game looks great, yeah. No, it really does. Like, like The foliage detail alone is just... I mean, you probably can't see it properly on the stream, but trust me, it's... It's not quite got the god rays of Apex um, engine that is in Call of the Wild. Like, it would have god rays coming through. And the clouds are not quite as good as Call of the Wild. But it's good enough. So there's no hunting bow, no. There's only a rifle. There's only a set of rifles and a set of shotguns. Three shotguns, a bunch of rifles. Uh, they're tiered one to six. So if you go to Encyclopedia, you go to Firearms, it breaks them down here. Um, and you look at any rifle. This is the one. You start with Grandpa's rifle, which is a tier four. Um, and then there's like tier twos, tier ones. The one we're using at the moment is this bad boy. The Steyr Carbon, tier six with the Lapo mag. So this is, you know, stopping your elks and your bears and uh, moose and that kind of thing. And then the shotgun I think we have is the Morning Silence, which is the semi-automatic tier one, 20 gauge. Oh no, we have the, we have the tier two, my bad. We have the firearms, we have this, the Ponser Incline. So it's a break action, two shot. So it's designed for the Kind of bigger, big birds like geese and that kind of thing. If you're going to pre-order it, use that code. You'll save yourself more money than Steam. <laughs> Click the link. Uh, the, the You can get the standard version or the elite version. The standard version with that code will get you 10% off. The elite version will get you 19% off with that code. You just put the code into the checkout at the end. And then you'll get your Steam key that way. But yeah, you get two maps. And then if you get the Elite version, you'll get the maps in this season as well. But if you play it on Hunter difficulty, it is quite a challenge. Trying to stalk the animals is... Um, they're really skittish. realistic it's it's a challenge it's a lot of fun there's a storyline running right through it as well that you can follow that we've been doing quite a bit of <laughs> so this is the lake thing Man, this is picturesque, it really is. Storyline's a little meh. Um, 
It's a way better effort than anything Call of the Wilds come up with storyline-wise. That whole cartoon animation was pretty sick. Starving Swallows, okay. So I'm aware of how trite this question is, but how do you feel about this one? What, the game? Or your 500-bit delivery poet jet? <laughs> um, I'm enjoying it. That's, you know, I don't want to start comparing it too heavily against Call of the Wild, but I'm enjoying it. Like I say, the, the water audio is one of the big problems. But I'm sure that... Oh, wild boar drink here. Nice. So we are in wild boar territory. I just have the wrong gun. I don't think we've got an encyclopedia entry for... Yes, we do. Tier 5, so I have the wrong gun. I'd need to drop back to my other rifle. The one I have is too uh, too much. We're also showing wild boar now and the need zone. Sweet. Okay, that's good. We know they're around here. Uh, Fessick, thank you for nine months. Happy Twitch baby, sir. Uh, early reviews mentioned a ton of technical issues weighing it down. Have you experienced many bugs? Not a ton. No. No, 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 no. No. The main one is the audio levels, okay? The lack of audio sliders in the game is is a problem, I think. Yeah, because after music, which you don't hear in the game much anyway, you've got your voiceover and then that's it. So I can't control the car audio. I can't control the water noises, the ducks quacking. I can't adjust their levels because sometimes they're just wrong. Uh, you'll get near some wa water and it'll suddenly snap into some audio and then snap out of it. So they need to polish that up a bit. And then there's no um, there's no keyboard mapping. So on controller, on, on console, you, it tells you what everything is. You can't change it, but it tells you what it is. On keyboard, there's no keyboard mapping. So you have to use the controls they give you and some of them you have to figure out what they are. So, um, roe deer, nice. They're the only technical issues I've really found. Like, everything else has been pretty solid, if I'm honest. Like, it's not crashed. I've not seen too many weird things. Like, the most notable weird thing I think I saw was um, an animal across the water, and then I couldn't find it, and then I found a floating cartridge. That was the, the weirdest thing I've seen. Which for pre-release is um, pretty good, right? Not too far to get back to there and run back again. So I could at least switch gun. Oh, I'm not used to this hut. Where is everything? Yeah, so... Um, for those that have not seen it, the way it works is you go to the shop when you're back at your lodge, and you buy any of the rifles. Like, they're not locked behind any XP level or anything like that. You can just buy whatever you want. However, you don't buy the ammo. Your grandpa... Um, buys all the ammo. So every time you come back to your storage, you are replenished in your ammo. Nor can you change ammo types. So you can't take a gun and put different kinds of ammo in it. It doesn't do that either. Like this gun will always have 20 gauge ra uh, shells in it. This will always have 16. This will always have 12. You can't change that. The gear, you've got two types of binoculars and then you've got a whole bunch of callers that you can go with. Uh, hog collar might be useful. I'm kind of saving up, but I think I'll get one anyway. Um, the road here we already have. And then you've got attachments. So you've got a couple of red dots you can put on things, or you can put these different scopes. This is the best one, I think, and I have that one. 
I uh, used to have it for sale, Paul Jatted, but not anymore. And then you've got the boundary passes that you can buy, four and a half grand each. So if we want to go and hunt in one of those, there's four Locturis on a map. Um, so that there is one of them. This area here, we can go around it and we can shoot things, but we can't harvest anything we hunt. That is locked. And the locked areas apparently have the highest trophy stuff. So we'd have to buy that for four and a half K. Having said that, money's not that hard to come by. Yeah, the passes are permanent. Money's not that hard to come by. We just shot a, a moose and got 1,200 from it. So a deer will get you 500. Um, and nothing in the game is is pay pay to win. It's all just in-game currency. So let's get the Remington tier five with the scope. So we'll grab that, and then we'll go back. Actually, we could go from this direction. We'll walk from here. Well, it, you know, it remains to be seen how much they patch the game after release. Um, how good the map DLC is. You know, we don't know yet. We don't know how quickly they're going to patch it. But for pre-release, this is pretty polished. The complaints I have are mostly quality of life things. Mechanically, the game's working fine. Oh, and there's a um, hunting practice range here if you want it. So you can basically practice, like, scoping, zeroing your gun. See the zero there in the middle middle left? So, like, 200 meters. If you crouch, you get a lot less gun sway than if you stand. So you can crouch. And then zoom in, depending on what scope you've got. Hold shift. Holds his breath. Yeah, so you can practice your zeroing down here. Is is what any good, Fessick? The game? <laughs> I played it all day yesterday. And I've been playing it all day today and I'm still enjoying it. So you know, take from that what you will. Uh, yeah, so back at the lodge, you can you when you harvest an animal, you can either sell it, so you sell the meat from it, and the amount of money you get for it depends on how much damage you caused. So the lowest damage will happen when you use the correct ammunition and shoot the uh, animal in the best way. Oh, this is, I'm going to die here, aren't I? Oh god, that's me dead. Uh, <laughs> Or you can taxidermy it. If you taxidermy it, you don't get any money, but you get to put it in a stand in one of your lodges. So I'm, you know, I think in the early days, you tend to just sell your stuff. If I got a five star, I'd probably taxidermy that and not take the money. I think there is isn't a perk, isn't there? If you keep falling off too many times, I'm sure there's a perk you get. What was it now? Outdoorman. There you go. Fall unconscious 10 times. 30% faster rate of life regeneration. So you could just cheese that one here. Run out, drop, run out, drop. Uh, the animals can knock you out, yeah. So I don't think you ever technically die in the game. You become unconscious, right? And then you spawn back at your uh, cabin. So if you get hit too hard by an animal attacking you, yes, you can get unconscious. I've been out flying. I've checked out on the plane last week, but I've not been out flying this week. But I'm fully checked out to fly that bad boy plane. However, next week it's uh, going to be a lot of rain coming in, I think. So we shall see. That is a particularly nasty cliff. Can I even get up there? Oh, no, I didn't put the hog caller in. 
Good spot. <laughs> So, storage callers, what have we got? We've got the roe deer, the moose. We'll swap out the... It said there was fallow deer here as well. I don't think there's any moose where we are, so we'll swap that for the hog caller. I think it'll be more useful anyway, because... Wild boar tend to be really annoying and skittish. What, the forecast in the game or the forecast IRL? Forecast in the game is going towards sunny, easterly winds. IRL, the forecast is thunderstorms and rain by Wednesday. Possible flash flooding caused by the hard ground. Because th the ground is so hard and dry now that when rain hits it, it just runs straight off it. So we could go from drought to um, people driving around in rivers. <laughs> it could get very interesting. <laughs> Honestly, if frogs start falling from the sky, I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> End of the world, here we go. Uh, Eurovich, thank you for 72 months, sir. Happy anniversary. Six years. Thank you so much. You started armbands. That's all right. Buy a canoe off Amazon. Any inside info on the MP? No, because I've not tried the MP with anybody. I don't know how that works on the on the map side of it. Yep, hello Adam, it's been like that here as well. Right, do we have animals? What do we know about these? Need to find more habitats. So, 9, 1, they're going to sleep, aren't they? So, 9 a.m., These I've never seen these portraits before. <laughs> oh, you can watch the comics again. If you've never seen them, they're pretty good, actually. It's 11 a.m. I'm just going to sleep till 9 a.m. Hope that we can have a better chance of catching something. A wild boar drinking area 9 a.m. Let's go. Okay. It's quite pretty. I don't know where the bear are. I've not seen a bear yet at all. Uh, what do you mean photo mode? Press the P key. And then you adjust the time of day that you want. So say you want out on a like that. Then you can adjust the preset of how you want it to look. can mess about with all that stuff and then you can adjust the like where you look you can move around get whatever shot you want say we want to go time of day like that like that 
And then you can adjust the depth of field if you want. So you can mess with this stuff. Which I've not played with, but you get the idea. And field of view is the one thing you can't do in the game. Which is a bit annoying. So yeah, you can have the hipster shot. <laughs> you get the idea. Yeah, you can make some nice wallpapers with it for sure. I think it could be a bit more flexible, like the time of day slider. It'd be great if you could just slide it rather than chunk it in one hour breaks. Lock in. Um, the only thing you get from, I think there's something under perks for, there's a taking photo benefit somewhere. Oh, we've nearly got that one, look. We got a five day weather forecast soon, sort of four, four hours. I'm sure there was a photography one. I thought there was. No, mistaken. Yeah, crawling 30k is not happening. We crawled 1.4 and uh, it didn't even register it. <laughs> 